When Paul talks about marriage in Ephesians chapter 5, he talks about the husband and he talks about the wife. And he says to the husband, when you read from verse 22 all the way to 33 of Ephesians 5, he says, Husbands, you are to love your wife as Christ loved the church. That is a high calling. Think about the way that Christ loved the church. What did he do? He gave himself for the church. The church are the people of God who have said yes to Jesus as Lord and Savior. They're the people of God. God is calling you to sacrificially lay down your life for your wife every day. That is to be your mindset. That is to be your attitude. The calling of a husband is to be like Christ. I have wrestled and I have trembled towards surrender. Chase my heart of drifting, drifted home again. Plunder blessing till I've been desperate to find redemption. I mark. Thank you, Miriam, to be my wife. I will love you, comfort and honor you, keeping you for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in poverty, forsaking all other women. I cling to you and you alone as long as we both shall live. And with this ring and this promise, I take you, Miriam, as my beautiful wedded wife. I, Miriam, take you, Mark, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I will love, comfort, and honor you, keeping you for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in poverty, Forsaking all other men, I cling to you and you alone, as long as we shall both live. And with this ring and this promise, I take you, Mark, as my handsome husband forever. Awesome. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, I call on you. Kilo no lo sé, uh, hambre na 